on y'all doing this on the fly hope y'all can hear me apologize for any noise currently on the back of a bus headed back from uh, Philly back to New York so bear with me because we got some breaking news that just came out of nowhere Andrew Luck just retired from the NFL yes the Andrew Luck and if you haven't been following the story what happened I guess I'd say most recently with Andrew Luck he's having a situation with his calf muscle and they were saying that that was going to keep him out for a while they didn't give a you know a specific amount of time that it was going to keep him out for all they said was he was having an issue with his calf muscle and they didn't they didn't really make it seem like it was a huge deal but it seemed more like a big deal because Andrew Luck has a history of being injured and then the news breaks maybe about an hour ago Andrew Luck retires from football mentally worn out physically just didn't want to go through the rigors of you know recovering from another injury and I gotta wonder if the whole situation that just happened with Kevin Durant with him having a, a ankle injury calf muscle injury that eventually became an Achilles tear, ruptured Achilles. So I wonder if something like that, maybe Andrew Luck saw and said, you know what? Yeah, I'm not trying to go out like that. You know, he just came back from the shoulder injury. It was that uh, two years ago. And he was even limited last year. I remember when they played the Eagles, the Colts had a Hail Mary at the end of the game. And they put in the backup quarterback, Brissett. I might be saying his name wrong, but y'all know what I'm talking about. I hope. And they put him in just to throw the hell of Barry because they still didn't fully want to put that type of stress on on Luck's arm, even though he played the whole game and played well. But um, yeah, it's one of them rare cases where a guy retires pretty young. He's only 29, and kind of reminds me of Gail Sayers. Now, I wasn't even alive when Gail Sayers played, but Gail Sayers was somebody that re retired pretty much in his uh, in his prom. Now, Gail says also had an injury, and you know, he probably, but he still probably could have came back. You know, technology back then wasn't quite what it is now. But you know, it reminds me of a Gail. Gail says Jim Brown. Even though Jim Brown didn't have an injury, Jim Brown was more. You know, I, I think the story goes he was finishing up a movie, and he was going to be late for training camp. And I believe the owner of the Browns told him either you come to training camp on time but you don't come at all and Jim Ground called his bluff and was like peace I'm going to Hollywood like American Idol I'm going to Hollywood but uh yeah this um again I apologize if y'all could barely hear me back of a bus kind of loud on here but again um Andrew Luck out of nowhere 29 years old retires from the NFL and my guess is I don't know Andrew Luck obviously but he doesn't see he doesn't strike me as the type of guy that's bought like a bunch of Bentleys and jewelry and you know a house and, and three different locations in two countries. So he strikes me as a guy that's probably made enough money where he's comfortable for the rest of his life. His family is comfortable. And he just didn't want to put his body or his mind through the stress of all these injuries that he keep kept having to deal with. You know. And a lot of us could say, you know, you wanted to you wanted the best young quarterbacks. It was so much hype around you. Why would you retire? But you know, it's different when it's when it's your own body, when it's your own mind. You can't you can't put yourself in another man's shoes or another woman's shoes and say, oh well, you should do this, you should do that. You know, he played in the NFL. Maybe he felt he gave the game all he could give, and to put his body through more stress and more injuries, put his put his mind through have to put his mind through having to go through these injuries and the recovery and, and I'm sure it, maybe it was just something he was thinking about every time he played like you know what's what's next to go and um so you know it's it's not good for the NFL because sorry about that I told you we doing this on the fly right here uh, it's not it's not good for the NFL because you know he's one he's one of the stars in the NFL. 
And in my time watching the NFL, I feel like he had the most hype around him of any quarterback coming into the league. Not saying he was the best one, I'm just saying like the media hype. Now, you know, before them, if you go back, you know, those guys like, um, you know, Peyton Manning, uh, Eli. I'm trying to think, even if you go farther back to the, the big quarterback draft, the had Elway and Montana and everybody. But back then it wasn't, you know, the game wasn't as big as it is now. It wasn't covered to the degree that it is now. We didn't have people with their own YouTube pages and social media that could where pretty much everything that's done, somebody has an opinion. And you know, Andrew Luck came came out in that social media era and I think he had more hype around him than maybe any player I've ever seen coming into the draft aside from LeBron James, maybe a Zion, and uh, maybe I'm a prisoner at the moment for a Zion, but uh, there's a lot. There was a lot of hype around Andrew Luck. He was the he was the next great one. He was one of those quarterbacks that came in the league, and they said this guy is ready to play from day one. And from day one, he's probably going to be, you know, one of the top ten or twelve quarterbacks in the league as a rookie. And um, you know, he, he definitely had his moments where he showed that he was an elite talent. But he also was derailed by injuries. You know, we seen RG3 have an amazing rookie year, and then injuries took that away from him. And RG3 has never been the same. And uh, I feel like kind of got the same thing with Andrew Luck. Only Andrew Luck did have more, more games and more productive seasons. So it wasn't quite to the same extent as um, as RG3. And ironically, RG3 is still in the league, but. Uh, so what's your thoughts? Andrew Luck? Retired from the NFL. Like I said, I respect his decision. It's his body, it's his mind. But it is bad for the NFL. You know, you don't want to lose one of the game's biggest stars. And that play is prime. We didn't even get to see Luck play in the Super Bowl. You know, we never got to see what that would have been like. And, um, yeah, he doesn't have the... You know, I don't know the exact word, the pizzazz, the cachet, you know, of some, of say like a Mike Vick, you know, somebody like that when he was coming to the league. But he, this guy was looked at as he's the quintessential, this is the franchise quarterback, this is what you want. So Andrew Luck going, we'll see who's the, the next young leaders that's, that are going to take over from the quarterback position. You know, you got Jerry Goff, of course, Carson Wentz. Dak Prescott, Patrick Holmes. So you got you got some young talent that's still in the league. That's still going to lead this league into the future, but it's just sad to see Luck go before it, it really got a chance to really reach his, his maximum potential. You know, we I don't think we saw the best of Luck. That's a crazy thing. I think because of injuries and he was just coming into maturity where the, the physical and the mind combined to make a player at his best. He was, I feel like he was coming into that age, you know, the late 20s, early 30s when a the quarterback, they still have it physically, but mentally now they've seen so much that they, th this bus is driving crazy. I'm just letting y'all know that now. <laughs> Pray for me. Uh, but I don't feel like we got to see the apex of luck. And that, that's what I'm going to be most sad about. Um, you know, leave a comment, let me know what you think, what's your thoughts on, on luck. This is breaking news, just happened about an hour ago. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, tell a friend to tell a friend. You know, give me your thoughts. What's, what's a, a player that you could relate to in this a similar situation that walked away from it and his prime? Who, who's somebody you, you think of? You know, not somebody that got injured and had to leave. Like, I, I think of Bo Jackson. You know, but Bo Jackson was injured and he has he had no choice but to leave. You know. Who's somebody that you remember that could have kept playing and decided, you know what? This is it. I'm done. I'm gonna walk away. I don't know. I think about a young old scrubs that walked away. I'm joking. <laughs> yeah, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. More coming soon, NFL baby. Andrew Luck. Peace.